Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Chris Raggy. It was a tragic scene, one that started badly, ended even worse. A New Jersey corrections officer pulls her pistol and shoots her boyfriend. Police race to the scene, and then with officers only feet away, she does the unthinkable. CBS 2's Sean Hennessy live now in Newark with the latest. Sean? Christine and Chris, the unthinkable indeed. A murder-suicide followed. Police say Kelly McKenneth shot her own son inside their Huntington Terrace apartment, then turned the gun on herself, and there wasn't much doctors could do here at the hospital when the two arrived. Outside the home where two lives were snatched away, police stand guard while witnesses relive the bloody scene of a father jumping out the window after being shot twice, police say, by the mother of his child. They walked over to the cop car and they laid him on the side of the cop car. Then a stretcher came down, and that's when his whole shirt was full with blood. Johnny Goosby was stunned to hear that his grandson, okay, Louis Goosby, was almost killed with the hands, authorities say, of his girlfriend, Kelly McKenneth. She's a nice girl. Nice girl. But something went horribly wrong with this corrections officer just back from maternity leave. But there's really nothing that could uh, at all that could explain something as heinous and as sad as this. Investigators say McKenneth had her four month old son with her when police surrounded the building following the shooting of her boyfriend. Initially, while the, the mother was unresponsive, uh, we heard the child crying, so we knew that the child was alive. And police say they made contact with her through the door. She said that uh, she was going to come out. She assured the detective that she was going to come out. Uh, she wanted to put pajamas on the child, and, and she needed to get dressed. And a short time later is when we heard the shots from inside. Investigators say McKenneth shot her son in the chest, then herself in the head. A stunning and sudden end to both lives. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. A heartbreaking and, for the moment, inexplicable tragedy. I'm a mom, and I, I sympathize for her right now. I really sympathize for the whole family. I mean, I, I don't understand what caused her to do it, but it had to be something serious. Back out live here at the hospital, Louis Goosby, the sole survivor. He's the boyfriend who, of course, jumped out the window. He is in critical but stable condition here. As for McKenna, authorities tell us she had been medically cleared to come back to work following maternity leave to go back to her job as a corrections officer, and they tell us they're not aware of any kind of medical or mental problems she was having. We're live here in Newark. Sean Hennessy, CBS 2 News.